What is up guys? It's me Alan. I'm back with another video. We got a cup series race to review. Holy shit. Alright, so first of all, Derek Cope. Slowest motherfucker out there. Uh, no offense, man. Go back to the retirement home. Just saying. But he uh, blows a tire on lap three and gets knocked out of the race. Damn. Damn. Then about lap 14 or 15, we get the big one really early. Uh, Kyle Busch gave a bump to Christopher Bell. Bell got in the back of Almarola. Almarola got loose and spun, and he ended up he spun, he hit Alex Bowman, and it just collected a bunch of people. Most of the competitive cars, honestly, or not most of, but a lot of them. Mm. Sorry, Alex Bowman, Dan or Bowman, Suarez, Reagan, Ryan Newman, Eric Jones, Ryan Blaney, Chris Busher, Tyler Reddick, Anthony Alfredo, Kurt Busch, Matt Benedetto, William Byron, Jamie McMurray. They all got collected. Um, Almarola, Bowman, Suarez, Reagan, Newman, and Jones were done. Uh, joining Cope, of course. Um, De Benedetto actually tweeted, and this was during uh, the, the ensuing rain delay. Uh, that was fun. 15 hole lap. On to the next one. Six fighting. He was done for the night. Uh, and then we got a long ass green or long ass red flag for rain until we find until they got the car back in the cars around 8:45 and got back out there to race at nine. Um, Anthony Alfredo and both and Chris Buescher both ended up out with uh, due to the crash clock. Um, to one of the other the aforementioned other the other drivers I've mentioned before. Um, and then several caution laps later, lap 30, the race finally restarts. Uh, lap 38, Quinn Hauff and Chase Briscoe wreck, and this actually basically started about a lap or two ahead of time when William Byron had a part of his bumper that came off, and it, if you watch the replay, it hit the left front tire of Quinn Hauff, which is, I assume is the reason, is how, what led to um, Hauff and Briscoe getting wrecked, uh, because Hauff, his tire must have gone down. Uh, Denny Hamlin got the stage one victory. Ryan Priest finished second. How about that? Ryan Priest in an open car finished second. Holy shit. Austin Dillon third. Kyle Larson fourth. Austin Sindrick, another open car fifth. Christopher Bell sixth. Bubba Wallace seventh. Joey Logano eighth. Ross Chastain ninth. And Cole Custer in tenth. Uh, 23 to go in stage two. Under the green flag pit stops, Christopher Bell got a speeding penalty. And then a little bit later on lap 112, um, Christopher Bell cut a tire. He got into Ricky Stowers Jr., who grades Kyle Larson. Larson also grazed the wall, but cut a tire in the process. And somehow, uh, Christopher Bell barely missed hitting Bell Wallace. Like, it was that close. That fucking close. And Kaz Grawa apparently got involved in it as well. Uh, I didn't see anything without the replay, but when he came out pit road there, he had a tire, or his, uh, I think, right rear brake rotor was on fire. And they tried to they put it out, whatever, and he got back out there. And then on the back stretch, you could see it was still on fire. So, yeah, it just would not go out. Um, so that happened. And then Denny Hamlin wins stage two. So he sweeps both stages. Kevin Harvick second. Bubba Wallace third. It was looking like Bubba Wallace was going to win that stage. It was pretty freaking close. Uh, Chase Elliott fourth. Austin Dillon fifth. Joey Logano sixth. Michael McDowell seventh. Car uh, Kyle Larson eighth. Kyle Busch ninth. And Brad Keselowski in tenth. And then Kurt Busch, who's a couple laps down, he got a penalty for too many men on the wall. Kyle Larson got a penalty for a safety violation of some sort. Not sure what. And the big thing with this Daytona 500, and I think this is what's going to upset a lot of people, um, this race was really uneventful for the most part. And I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that, again, we saw a massive wreck on the, the 14th lap of the race. And then, of course, the long um, uh, you know, rain delay that came thereafter. Um, and... There were at times where it looked like it was going to get a little bit racy, but for the most part, it was a lot of train racing, um, which, meh. But then they finally got racy at the end on the last lap, going into turns three and four. Uh, basically, what happened was Kyle Lar or Brad Kulowski came down, uh, Logano came down to block, Logano got turned, Kozlowski got turned as well, and they wrecked around him. Huge, uh... Freaking Ryan Priest, Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski, Joey Logano, Bob Wallace, Austin Sindrick, Cole Custer, and Ross Chastain all collected the wreck. I couldn't see anybody else, honestly. Um, a few of them were in the wall, and it was a massive fireball. I think the back of Brad Keselowski's car got in the catch fence a little bit. Huge fucking wreck. Sounds like everybody came out of it okay, though. But how about this coming to the start-finish line? It ended up being three wide between Chase Elliott, 
uh, Austin Dillon, and Michael McDowell. Guess who came out on top on that? No, not the defending champion. No, not the former Daytona 500 winner in a car with a number that has also won the 500 with Dale Sr. Michael McDowell gets his first career Cup Series win at the Daytona 500. I'm just going to say it. That makes up for the for most majority of this race. I, I think, honestly, I think the race would have been better if we didn't have the, the big wreck early on. Um, which, again, why the fuck are y'all getting racy at literally at lap 14? Why? That is so stupid. Um, but, yeah, that, that was crazy. Also, it, Bo Wallace... He, I gotta talk about Bo Wallace for a little bit. He was actually running really well in this race. He was up in the top 10, up top 5. He was even leading for a little bit at times. Unfortunately, though, late in the race, uh, I was after the last set of green flag pit stops. He had to come back down because he had a vibration. That put him a lap down. He was able to stay with the lead pack, but he just could never got a caution to get that lap back and contend for the win. Um, and I, I it's... I mean, I applaud the fact that they played it safe for mo ma until the very last lap, but, like, it just made the race uneventful for the majority of the time, which kind of sucked. But, I mean, hey, we, we got the race in tonight. That's what mattered. And holy shit, Michael McDowell. I did not see this coming. I didn't. I mean, I know it's the Super Speedway. I know it's Daytona. Anything can happen. Bro. Michael McDowell winning this race. If he can stay in the top 30 in points, because that's what you got to do, he's going to make the playoffs. Because, you know, full-time driver. Dude, that's going to bust a lot of people's brackets. This season is already getting off to a wild start. I mean, again, I think when you look at predictions, Chase Elliott, or, sorry, Chase Briscoe being, uh, you know, joining up, you think he's at least going to get one win. Kyle Larson coming back, you think he's at least going to get one win. Uh, Tyler Reddick at Homestead could get a win there. So there's a few different guys that could get a win. We could actually maybe actually see more than 16 drivers win a race this year. Michael McDowell, probably the least likely of the of out of all of them to pull it off, and he did it. Wow, he is the eighth different driver to get his first win at the 500. And fun fact that I saw on Twitter: 2001, the year I was born, and the year that Dale Senior died. Uh, Michael Waltrip got his first career win at the Daytona 500. 2011, Trevor Bain got his first win at the 500. And now Michael McDowell in 2021. Um, who won in 1991? I'd like to know, just to see if that trend keeps going. <laughs> but anyway, congratulations to Michael McDowell. That's fucking awesome. Uh, Elliott finished second, Austin Dillon third, Kevin Harvick fourth. I didn't get to see the rest of the leaderboard, so I don't know. Um, I think probably Denny Hamlin was fifth because he was he was... It was a three-wide battle, and then you had Hamlin and Harvick behind them. So, I think Hamlin was fifth. Um, means it, which sucks that he won't get the three-peat and the four and five years. But, he was still up near the front. Chase Elliott finishing second. Considering the fact that the 500 has not been good to him, he survived this one. And, he gets his best career finish. And, a good way to start the season for the championship, or for the defending champion. Austin Dillon gets a good start to his season. Uh, you know, Denny Hamlin and Kevin Harvick, go figure they're going to be in the top five. Uh, but again, thank God everybody came out of that wreck all right. And again, congratulations to Michael McDowell to win this race. All I can say is, have you ever? No, I've never. I'll see you all next time. Peace.